dude. Calvin Ridley of my fantasy team. I'll let you take year, this one away. <laughs> suspended indefinitely, but certainly for all of the 2020, uh, 2022 season. Why, you ask? We know that Ridley had been out dealing with uh, supposedly mental health issues. Uh, I can't confirm or deny that except taking his word for it. But one of the things he was doing while he was out was gambling on a little pro football. That fifteen hundred bucks on a few games—that's um, frowned upon. Ask Pete Rose, um, and you know, Mister Ridley will not be playing in the NFL uh, next season, and maybe not ever. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. But uh, you know, if you're planning on if you got him in, uh, you know, dynasty, or we're planning on you know being sneaky and taking him up high next year, you might want to rethink your strategy. Yeah, <laughs> early best ballers that took him, you know. RIP Calvin Ridley. That sucks. Your team's already saying, thankfully I was not going in on Calvin Ridley early in these best ball drafts. And rightfully so at this point, I did not see this coming though. Uh, he was last time we saw him out there for a full season, wide receiver five. The talent has been undeniable. He is a great player. And he was a wide receiver five when, I don't know if you've seen some of the clips where he like, kind of like slows up on touchdown runs and like, it's like, he was definitely betting on this game type of thing. <laughs> so you think, yeah, you he think, you think, you think he kind of like stalled. You think yeah, he's so done this they, before? It's bad. Uh, ultimately, like, <laughs> you know, I, there's a couple of takes here. The, I guess a, a preface to all this too is just like it is pretty messed up that not pretty messed up. It is extremely messed up that he gets a full season for gambling. Josh Gordon gets suspended oh, yeah. for like six years for weed, and then like Ray Rice gets two games. And Greg after Hardy, video. all, all you know, those Greg guys. Hardy, I'm sure you've seen those. Kareem Hunt, comments, Adrian like, Peterson, like just all, so all messed the, up. No, you're you're right, and I mean right. I'm I'm making fun of Calvin Ridley here but you know the the consequences are out of whack exactly completely yeah. out, out of whack like that you know punishments fit in the crime it's just a complete shit show nfl needs to be better and do better you know i'm not saying he doesn't deserve a year i think it's messed up to you know be betting on a game that you might be involved in i would love it if do you, i would love to know his bets yeah, I know it involved the Falcons. It was a parlay involving the Falcons as all that kind of came out. It didn't go to the, the specifics. My guess is he's betting on him to lose. I hope he was uh, for sure because he probably won that one. Um, but yeah, really messed up situation. You know, hopefully we'll see him in a year from now and it will all be blown over. But what does this leave us with? Like Atlanta's receivers. Ridley's oh. gone. Russell Gage is an unrestricted free agent. You know, if he was back, this would be really interesting to him. Yeah, yeah, really no, no this is a sick and shit. None of this matters. None, nobody on Atlanta matters. Maybe well, we Kyle Pitts. But I mean, I, but I look, Matt Ryan's a year worse. Like, you know, well, they're their best guy on their depth chart, but far Ridley gone. Gage looks like he's gone. And it's not like I'd be throwing a party for him anyway. Look, this is, this is a disaster. It's, it's, it's absolutely uh, Olamide Zacchaeus, the next one. He's a restricted free agent. Who? Tajay Sharp, whoever that is, unrestricted free agent. Tajay they, Sharp, we were high on him like four years ago for like a week, yeah, exactly. and then he beat somebody up in an alley. Yeah, um, and we haven't really heard from him since. I know. So if if Gage does resign, he did average nearly 15 points per game once Ridley was out. Wow. So that that could be. I mean, yeah, he was a top 12 receiver sneakily over those last 10 games of the year. In that fact, he was sneaky. one of the highest owned guys on best ball rosters that made it to the championship weeks. Cause he did have a really nice end of the year, especially in PPR league. So if he returns, that would be intriguing, but the only piece that's left standing at this point is Kyle Pitts. Now he also did have his biggest game of the year with Ridley there. I think he benefited greatly from having Ridley to yeah. draw number one attention. We saw when number one corners went on Pitts, he started to get shut out. Maybe you know, I, I expect year two to be that much better and another step forward for the guy. He already broke rookie tight end records, uh, even with underwhelming tight end touchdown numbers, tight end six in fantasy. So he had an okay year, uh, especially, but just relative to expectations was kind of a disappointment, especially without Ridley there. So I don't know that Ridley being gone is suddenly this huge upgrade for Kyle Pitts. No, I think he I benefited think so. from that field stretching presence from the, somebody commanding the number one corner attention. Yeah, he had that 27-point day against the Jets. Uh, that, that was his biggest game with Ridley on the field. So I do think it's going to be another step forward for Pitts. But I just think their number one receiver – we don't even know who's the number one receiver at this point beyond Kyle Pitts because he's certainly not on the roster because none of their receivers on the roster are under contract right now. So who knows what's going to happen. Uh, but we will see. I'm sure they'll draft somebody. They're going to probably pepper free agency, but their cap situation is really shitty too. So it is just going to be a, a ugly, ugly situation unless they get rid of Matt Ryan and maybe go, just completely tank 
we'll see. But yeah, I, I think I maybe I'm overthinking this, but I'm also thinking at it from like kind of the uh, the mental, emotional, psychological point. And it's like I would think it would just be deflating for a guy like Pitts to see this team and just to know that they're going nowhere. And it's like, uh, you know, uh, who knows what kind of like heart or motor or whatever he's gotten. If he's just like, I'd, I'd rather die than not give it my all. Who knows? It might be hard to get up and give it your all every single week, just knowing you're going to suck all the time. I, uh, I hope not, because I'm, I'm pulling for the guy. I'd like him to do well, but Atlanta just seems like such a I know. horrible place. I, I right do now. think Arthur Smith, too, he, ca- he kept them pretty competitive last year in this pretty shitty situation. So I, I'm hoping the head yeah. coach can kind of keep them yeah. rallying up and going. We'll see. But, yeah, it, it's just brutal. And I know I'm sure you're just sitting there like fucking – Ridley, like this, this again, like it's always something with this guy. Well, I mean, I, it hurt me last year. This won't hurt me uh, this year, but yeah. it's it's more, I'm just like rolling my eyes completely. And also it's just, it's like we, you know, you listed Josh Gordon as the other guy on that list that, you know, uh, for something that we don't think is bad at all, that has missed like five or six years of his career. And we saw how great Josh Gordon was. And it's like, he was gone for a year and then we're like, Oh, he's going to come back. He's going to be great. And it, it never happened. I mean, it, and right. you know, so it's like, I look at Calvin Ridley, all this talent, all this potential, uh, you know, fantasy aside, you know, he potentially had an awesome NFL career ahead of him. Then he's out for half a year. Now he's out for another year. There's no guarantee at all that this guy's ever going to come back uh, and be great, uh, much less come back at all. Who knows? So I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed uh, for him because I'd hate to see his career like end this I way. I think that's a great point too, Nat, because Dynasty wise, I'm seeing a ton of people with the take. You'll go by now. You you have no. to take the year no. and eat that. But I'm seeing some of these. I don't like, agree with that at all. Like Jalen Waddle for it. No, what? like That's what crazy. is this? Like what are you guys thinking? Yeah, I get like if you can get him for a late third round, like rookie pick, some sort of speculative person, whatever. Okay, it's worth it there. But if you're giving up a major haul, I get the idea of buying low. Maybe you buy low on DK Metcalf, this young freak with all this negative attention. That's different. That will eventually rise. But like you said, there's no guarantee we ever see Calvin Ridley on the field again. So I, everybody's so obsessed with negative information comes out about somebody. Go buy this player now. I, I get it works out sometimes, but this is one that I'd be – I think Josh Josh Gordon's a really interesting comparison. I'd be really nervous. Like you could have bought low on Josh Gordon 30 times. And been we, we did. <laughs> we did buy low we on him trying. Like, for like four years. Exactly. <laughs> oh. No, I'm just – you know, I'm a big NBA fan too, and I've just seen too many guys – whether it's mental health problems or off the field issues or drugs or whatever that go away and they're suspended for a while and they come and it's like, you know, they it's, I'm not going to say they never come back and are awesome, but it's, I would say more often than not, they do not. So exactly. I would, I would not be like, Oh, let me get all your Calvin Ridley stock right now. Like I'm, I'm extremely skeptical and, and very worried. I, all I right. You too. Midway through, if you guys don't yeah. mind hitting that thumbs up button as we move on to our next Next story, if you have a question, comment, get it on in there. We will, of course, hit those at the end. We appreciate you guys being here on a random impromptu Tuesday. Thanks so much for being here. Let's continue forward. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. You haven't already? Share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Mm